The giant Utelsat 9B is a state-of-the-art communication satellite designed to provide digital TV services for customers across Europe. But it's also fitted with the first terminal for the European Data Relay System, EDRSA, a precision telescope that will receive data via laser from satellites in lower orbits. The innovative EDRS program is a public-private partnership between ESA and Airbus Defence and Space. Part of ESA's strategy to stimulate new commercial markets, the project is managed by ESA's RTES program of advanced research in telecommunication systems. It's a kind of broadband network in space, offering a capability to transmit a large amount of data from Earth observation satellites down to Earth. EDRS enables satellites in low Earth orbit to send data to satellites in higher, fixed geostationary orbits, which can then be transmitted back to Earth. This means that satellites can be in continuous contact with the ground via receivers such as this new one at Harwell in the UK. With the first launch fast approaching, EDRS is evolving into GlobeNet, a high-speed data network in space using three geostationary satellites to provide global coverage. We believe that uh, this will generate a wealth of new applications. This will allow the creation of a large number of companies uh, exploiting, if you like, uh, these uh, real-time data coming from Earth observation satellites and later on coming from uh, remotely piloted aircraft systems even uh, with GlobeNet. Other applications will include providing real-time images of natural disasters to help relief efforts and information to aid shipping in remote parts of the world. The first satellites fitted with the laser transmitters are Europe's new Sentinel satellites, which form part of the Copernicus Earth Observation System. The latest of these spacecraft, Sentinel-2, was launched in 2015, and the laser data service is due to begin later this year. From 2018, EDRS will also be used to provide an additional video and data link to the International Space Station. And this is just the start. EDRS and its successor GlobeNet have the potential to transform the capabilities of satellites and open up many new applications and commercial opportunities for space technology.